Welcome back, guys. Today we're covering one of the most undervalued projects out there, Trias. Not only does this project have incredible fundamentals, but Trias Token just produced two key chart patterns, which may be an indicator that we're headed for a breakout soon. In this video, we'll briefly touch on recent news that has come out about Trias, then we'll dive into some charts, signals, and price predictions. Let's get started. So since I want to spend most of our time in the charts today, we're just going to kind of gloss over what Trias does because it's important for context. Uh, mainly what you want to think about when you think about Trias is security and trust. So they're looking to solve trust and security issues uh, with automated machinery. And so the big thing here is that they want you to be able to trust machines to uh, deterministically uh, do what they're told to do. And you can you know, basically have you trust them uh, to do that on a consistent basis. Um, and another thing I want to highlight about them is just how impressive their team is. So um, they basically have a you know legitimate full size company here. So you know you can see 50 plus engineers, 70 plus team members, and a bunch of PhD and master's graduates. A lot with backgrounds in computer sec uh, security, as you can see from this one um, PhD uh, from the University of Oxford. And you know there's just a lot to be excited about in, in terms of. Uh, the team that they have and the technology that they're that they're trying to pursue um, because it does solve a, a big issue in the market currently. And since it's kind of hard to understand exactly what that means, you know, building trust in machines, let, let, let's look at a, a couple of use cases here. So um, in finance, a company called Su Chow Securities, um, they're using uh, Trias to basically uh, ensure the stability of their trading system and to prevent insider threats uh, brought by contractors. So the machinery is doing this automatically and they trust it to do that 24-7 uh, without any um, um, you know, human interference, which you know, obviously saves them a lot of time and money as well. Um, and the other uh, use case I wanted to talk about um, was the fact that they're also helping in commodities. Um, so they're helping cross-border settlement systems um, for product exchanges, which is huge in, in terms of uh, the ability to automate and you know, more efficiently handle trade between countries. And moving on to a little bit of news about uh, Trias. So here's kind of the big thing that everyone in the Trias community is waiting on, um, their V3.0 mainnet launch. So this is going to be uh, bringing staking. It's going to be, a, be bringing a bunch of other different um, uh, product updates. And everyone's really, really excited about it. We'll talk about what it actually entails. Um, it's called the uh, Prometh Trias uh, 3.0 mainnet launch. Um, and it is coming out sometime before uh, the 31st of December. And taking a look at you know, what this could mean in terms of real world applicability, basically what it's trying to do is assist in every single step of a process from you know a supplier all the way to a co uh, cosignee um, and how it's doing that essentially is storing a lot of these critical processes and data and then using that to make decisions along the way as they go um, and obviously using smart contracts to you know orchestrate shipment uh, transaction flow um, and doing this all based on triggers and algorithms based on this data that uh, it is storing so you can tell that this is going to be super super impactful um, and obviously a lot of their success is going to hinge on a successful launch of this mainnet and of this prometh layer but now that we have touched on some recent news and what trias does let's hop into uh, the charts and look at some price predictions all right here is the trias chart we have daily candles up on the board um, as well as the 140 days so 20 week and then 50 day moving averages and we're just going to start by breaking down some of these bullish uh, chart patterns and indicators to start off here um, so the first one i want to talk about and the one that kind of inspired me to to make this video is uh this falling wedge so i'm going to draw this out right here and it's going to become pretty clear um, but typically this uh, chart pattern uh, is indicating a, a bullish uh, break to the upside, uh, excuse me, breakout to the upside. Um, and, and so that's kind of an important to be watching. Uh, obviously, a, a key support level here is going to be right around uh, six uh, and change. So, you know, ideally we stay above, um, you know, this support level and then break out back to the upside. But that's kind of the first uh, bullish chart pattern that's showing. And it's pretty solid because it's been almost a month uh, to produce this. So typically when we see this producing over a longer period of time, um, it's a stronger pattern. Um, so that leads me to believe that, that this will follow through. 
um, but we will look at price predictions in a moment. Um, the other chart pattern that I want to discuss uh, that you know has been kind of continuously forming here is a cup and handle. So we see this forming from uh, June all the way over um, now uh, starting in or all, all the way to uh, August 20th or so. And so we see this you know kind of classic cup and handle look right here. Typically that is also a bullish pattern. Um, so just another thing to to point out. Um, you know, the more things that that point in the bullish direction, the better, obviously. And the last thing I wanted to mention, that's just something important to note here, uh, is the fact that just um, yesterday, it looks like the 140 days, so the 20 week uh, and then the 50 day moving averages crossed uh, with the 50 day uh, moving above the 140 day. So a lot of times, you know, it's common, obviously, in Bitcoin, we, we more so look at the 200 day moving average. Um, but a lot of the times when you see one of these lower moving averages uh, breaking up uh, up against a longer term moving average, a lot of the times it's also a bullish signal. Uh, not all the time, but uh, you know a lot of the times this is a bullish signal as well. All right, so moving on from the patterns, let's look at a few key levels here for Trias. Uh, so first of all, um, you know, let's just start out, play a little bit of devil's advocate. Let's look at some uh, key support uh, levels to the downside here. Um, right now, we're you know heavily kind of battling this um, six seven four to, to five seven ish range. Um, you know we're trying to stay uh, above this support line right here, and then you know this kind of safety support uh, lies here right around six bucks, which we'd love to see that uh, falling wedge bounce off of. Um, that's kind of the key level that we're looking at, and you know obviously if we do you know for some reason fall below that, uh, you know the next support level that we're looking out for is going to be four three six. Um, and if we bounce uh, below that, which I don't think we will, um, you know, we'd be looking at somewhere back where we were in July at 257. I, obviously, I, I don't really think that that's possible um, in the in the short to midterm right now. But, um, you know, just wanted to, to cover some uh, bearish uh, area um, direction. So let's look at where we could be headed to the upside. So if I pull up a FIB extension here, we'll take a look at some of the potential key levels. Um, so when we're looking at this, obviously we're assuming that we bounce off the uh, falling wedge and head back up to the upside. Um, a couple of key levels here. So we need to, once we kind of break back up off that falling wedge, like I said, the next kind of key level is gonna be right here around 11.3. If we break past that, um, you know, we're gonna see some serious uh, move to the upside, probably up towards $20. Um, and that's where it's gonna get really, really interesting because if we go back and look at the, um, the price uh, difference in the price jump, last time we did this, we went from, you know, five and change all the way up to 32 bucks. And so, you know, if we blow past some of this, uh, resistance right here and really go, you know, looking for a, a new resistance. The next key fib level is going to be 42.7. In my opinion, that represents, you know, the same six ish X uh, rise that we saw the last time we had this formation. And so that's the next level we're looking for. And, you know, past that kind of the, the moonshot would be, you know, eight to 12 X potentially, you know, that's not necessarily rare to see out of an, an altcoin like this. If, you know, initially we had a 6x run with the same formation uh, back here in July. You know, a lot of the times we do see um, a, a greater pump the second time around. That does happen. So, you know, potentially the, the moonshot prediction would be, you know, somewhere between 70 and 75 bucks, uh, in my opinion. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but things are looking uh, very, very bullish right now. Uh, so what I've been doing is kind of just adding to the bag uh, as close as I can to these uh, key support levels. Um, and since I've been, you know, watching for this falling wedge, a lot of the times, um, you know, it's a little easier to say, okay, you know, if it does play out, it's going to drop a little lower here. I do think that we're closer and closer to the rebound. So, um, you know, I, I wouldn't be afraid to just uh, dollar cost average uh, even up on these uptrends if we do go, you know, one more slight uptrend back to the down and then bounce. Um, so I'm adding uh, to my bag as close as I can to these uh, support levels. And then obviously, you know, holding uh, long term. 
uh, and, and hoping for that, you know, 70, 75 uh, moonshot prediction. Thank you guys for watching till the end. If you got value out of anything here, would really appreciate it if you dropped a like and subscribe if you're interested in cryptocurrency and investing and, you know, chart pattern updates. So um, thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.